Well, I'm Oliver Lineback. And I'm Louis Lineback, and you are at the Aussie Barbecue with the AU Review for South by Southwest. That's a good rhyme. Is it? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Texas. Thank you, how is it? How is the, uh, the state, how is the festival, how's it all treated you? It's amazing. Yeah. Really cool vibe. It's hard playing so many shows here because you kind of like have to be a little bit sensible. You're like four in the morning and you're watching a you know, a really sweet band or something and like you gotta gotta go, like, alright guys, gotta go up at eight o'clock or something and you know, we kinda need to go have some sleep. <laughs> and you're just always tired. Like everyone's kinda walking around like zombies on this last day here, so yeah. And it's not even like a normal festival where if you're up at four in the morning you're being irresponsible. Yeah. It's just that there's so much on. Everyone's yeah. out at four in the morning. It's crazy. We were up to like almost sunrise the first morning. We yeah. got a bit naughty. We didn't really realize we had a week ahead of us. <laughs> yeah. It kind of ruined us. Yeah. You started off on a not the best of uh, yeah. definitely on a high. Yeah. <laughs> Been husky ever since. Yeah. But how have the shows gone? Great. Really yeah, good. Yeah, good. They're all funny. Like the you don't really know what kind of venue you're going to be in. It's not like a normal festival where, you know, you guys are on the main stage and then you're on the um, Red Bull stage or something. It's just like yeah. every thing. I mean, if you're Australian, you can kind of imagine King Street or something like that. And every little shop, it's like, okay, cafe, venue, um, yoga place, <laughs> supermarket. You've all got a band going on at the same time. Frat Upstairs, house. Upstairs, downstairs and, and everything. So it's like... You kind of don't know what the stage is going to be like when you, until you've rocked up and you're looking at it, and it's, you know, it's, it's fun. It's interesting. Yeah, it's great. You know, what's what's that like for, for for you guys as a band? I mean, that must keep you on your toes in terms of, uh, you know, having having to set up in five minutes and and, yeah. and all that. That's ghastly, but it's all part of it. You know, we were um, we we're at the Kooks last night, and I don't know, some big band from Brooklyn was playing, and they. Um, they had the same problem. Like they had to end up doing an acoustic set just because the sound wasn't working. So yeah, yeah I think everyone, whether you're one of the small bands or the big bands, just it's just the risk. And that's what differentiates the good from the bad bands as well. You just push on through and you, you make it work. Yeah, absolutely. That happened to us for sure. Yeah. Have there been any total disasters or anything? The guitar amp blew up. Yeah, the halfway through song. the set of, of one of our shows and I ended up just dancing for a couple of songs. <laughs> <laughs> um, just not playing guitar and yeah, um, one of the one of the venues we rocked up just didn't have any guitar amps. Um, we played this weird, f um, what, are, what do you call those? Frat yeah, house. one of these frat house parties um, the other day, and we just kind of like rocked up, and our manager was like, "You're not playing this." And we're like, "Wait, wait, wait! We this could be cool. This could, you know, pump up. They've got their red cups and their kegs here. Like this is what you <laughs> see in the films." And then kind of the vibe wasn't happening, and so we just kind of like. Grabbed our guitars and sneaked out. Never played it. <laughs> no. Just bailed people were just it. passing out. It was two in the afternoon. And <laughs> yeah. It was like people just sort of was falling pretty, asleep in the middle of the dance. It was floor. a pretty interesting experience, though, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Musically, how um, <coughs> musical? I, you've released uh, an EP over here as well. You've, that's all. That's all happening for you. Kind of let us in on yeah what's happening here versus at home because it's all different. Yeah. Cycles. Well, um, we just kind of. It's feeling pretty good because like we've come over and, and everything feels pretty set up for us. Like we before we came over, we kind of um, were set up with an with an agent that saw us in Melbourne yeah. a couple of months ago, and you know we've we've just got a good team behind us. We're meeting all those guys, um, you know the distributors and the guys servicing the radio and that sort of thing. So we're kind of over here to meet all of them, and they've we've got this South by thing happening and and a tour in California straight after it. So. It kind of feels really cool to to be here, and it's just like, and then you go yeah. instead of um, just busting on the street, which is kind of what I was expecting, always <laughs> expecting we'd be doing first time in LA. Um, so that's feeling really good. But at the same time, you know, we've played um, hundreds of shows in Sydney and Australia. Mm. So like to to come over here and you don't have the fan base. It's Start like, again. It's pretty overwhelming. But I mean, at the same time, we've got these shows set up, mm. so you're kind of playing to completely new people and it's yeah it's always going to be good but having played hundreds of shows back in australia it does it, it must prepare you in, in many ways for uh yeah for yeah but i still wanted to come over early like i think um you know i didn't want to do the powder finger thing where you kind of massive back home and then you come over here and you're yeah. back playing those small shows kind of i think it's good to just build 
build yeah. everywhere from the start. So. Mm. so beyond the Californian tour, what's the rest of the year holding for you? Well, what are we doing? We're going back and playing Blues Fest when we get yeah. home. And then I think we're going to do some recording and then maybe come back here. And then and we're maybe definitely coming back here now. Def definitely coming back <laughs> here. Yeah, we're back here in June. And yeah. then I think again at the end of the year. So we're kind of really trying to smash California this year. So Doing a good. college party, radio party thing. Yeah. On a sleeping college bus. College tour. Yeah, college Just, tour. Yeah, classic sleeping bus. It's going to be super fun. It's get, get those kegs, get those kegs <laughs> out. And Red cups in my bag. Get yeah. on the road. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, guys, I hope you have the best time here. And uh, we're going to leave it with this one. And that's, you know, if you had any advice for a band traveling to South by Southwest, now that you've done it, what would yeah. that advice be? Sell out. <laughs> <laughs> just sell out and just sign whatever you can. We're <laughs> not the most practical advice, but yeah. we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Bring a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But don't offend anyone. Like supposedly, just to in the middle of nowhere, driving through Texas, you need to pee. Like the guys that we're traveling with from LA are like, no, 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 you can't pee on the side of the road. It's a sexual violation. You're like, get arrested. What? Just piss in Sydney, like in the middle of the city back home. Like, no one gives a <laughs> You're shit. a dirty boy, aren't you? Hey! Yeah, that's it. That's our advice. Well, guys, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of South Park. Thank Cheers. You.